Hey guys, so Thursday, Thursday the 20th of June, I'm back from Steep Rocks camping. Literally just got back and I'm, uh, I'm straight into it basically. I'm gonna be in Minneapolis by tomorrow morning. But first, I'm getting my truck ready. I had to give one of the drivers all my chains. I need straps because I dropped a trailer the other day and I need tarps, so first things first, I got some brand spanking new chains and binders. I'm gonna get them on the headache rack. Then I'm gonna get straps and then tarps, then fuel. I'm gonna have a shower yet and do my washing. But other than that, but once I've done that, I'll be ready to go. Um, so yeah. Uh, Minneapolis tomorrow morning it's about seven hours and it's two o'clock now so yeah got a few things to do before I set off but back into it back on the road let's see where we end up this time there we go brand spanking new got the binders the chains and three taps more straps more bungee cords all I need to do now is get the trailer Everything done. I'm just going to take it over the scales just to make sure because obviously I didn't load this trailer. All right, so I'm on my way now. I'm on the road. Got my trailer sorted. Got it scaled. All good. The loading was actually good. It's just lumber, so there's no issues with the lumber the strapping and that. So I'm heading to Pembina border, North Dakota, and I should get there in an hour and a half, maximum. Sent my documents off, uh, and obviously I'm not going to get to the actual border until I've got the documents back saying I can cross, so hopefully that won't be too long. I sent them a good hour ago. So yeah, I should get them uh, around about 6 o'clock, then I'm heading over the border and on to Minneapolis for tomorrow morning at 8am. It's 5pm, quarter past 5 now. So I've had uh, quite a bit to do just to get myself sorted, ready for the week, two weeks, however long it's going to be when I'm out on the road. I don't know where I'm going after Minneapolis, so I'm going to do this load tomorrow morning get it off and hopefully I'll have something a bit more exciting maybe. I've been uh, Minnesota a few times now, it's beautiful but I wouldn't mind going a bit further afield so we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to get concentrate on the road. I've got a Diet Pepsi by my side. <laughs>
everyone that was asking, I know Stephen Parkinson, you were asking how I did on the truck competition. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So overall, I don't know what it was out of, but total score, 301. Uh, if we can have a look at defects, 18 out of 50, shite. <laughs> but 301 out of whatever it was. So. Didn't do too bad. Not bad for a rookie. Evening, so I made it to Fargo. It's half ten. Time has really got away from me today. Yeah, I thought it'd be further than this by half ten. I've got plenty of driving time left, but half ten's a good cut off. We'll get up at half eight and yeah, get on the road after my vehicle checks. Okay, good morning from Fargo, half eight. We've got three hours to get to Minneapolis. Um, I had to start late because of the time I finished yesterday. Ten hours break. But I'm just doing my tr pre trip. Triaxle trailer. Load secure. Yeah, I'm just going to do this and then uh, get to Minneapolis, deliver this, load of lumber, and then uh, I have not a clue where I'm going after that, so we'll, we'll find out. It's exciting. Days, guys. I've uh, just got a message through with my next load, and I think it's up from Faribault, Minnesota. And I'm going back into Canada, but this time I'm going all the way east to New Brunswick. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. That's good miles, 1800 miles there. the ferry bolt collection point where I'm picking up my load. Quite possibly one of the easiest loads I've ever done. Basically craned it on and if you can see here we bolted it in. No work for Andy. So there she is. Refrigerated load.
so guys that is the end of the video for this one we made it to Oakdale uh, I've got Chicago to do I've got uh, Detroit to do the border and then we're getting on into the next day probably uh, trying to get through Toronto and further so yeah it's a good time to finish uh, it's been a fantastic day um, fantastic two days since I got back from camping it's been go 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 and I'm here with a huge run ahead of me up to New Brunswick so yeah new territory new sites so stay tuned for the uh, the next one